Oi Okay, and we're back again here at Robinson's Place, General Santa City. 1.30 p.m. matches. Table 1, James Todong Diamond Aranas versus Kyle, the sharpshooter Amoroto. Table 2, Benji Guevara versus Demosthenes Pulpul. Table 3, Alan Panganiban versus Ruben Cuna. Table 4, Sean Mark Malayan versus Kenneth Libaton. In table 5, we have Antonio Delfin versus General Tan. Table 6, Edgardo Sibuco versus Alan Abduhalim. In table 7, Johan Chua versus Dante Rosalan. In table 8, John Vincent Vicedo versus Hill Katamura. And on table 9, Ricky Von Apuhin versus Raniel Mateo. Table 9, Rep. Joel Regalario, si Benok lalaro mamaya 4.30 p.m. Kalaban niya si Genesis Oano.
Ya. Ini lalu pas di Indonesia ini lalu Kau ingin aku? Kau kasih dia? Nice shot there on the nine from Kyle Amboloto. So Kyle will take the first wrap. Dodong Diamond will definitely have his hands full dito sa laban na to because Kyle is the current Philippine 10 ball open champion. Nice break there from Kyle. So one to the side. If he gets it, 
pamplanto na naman. James definitely has has to wake up. Nice shot there from Kyle. So this is an open layout. Another brick and run from Kyle Amroto. So Kyle takes a two rack lead. Dry break again from DB Moore. Oh, sorry. He has a he had a ball on the break, so open table for Dodong Diamond.
and a break and run there by Dodong Diamond. So Dodong pulls one back. One to two. That's a dry break from Kyle, so Dodong has a chance to even up the score. Only challenge there is the three. Unless he opts for a 3-9 combination. But that's gonna be something to think about for Dodong. Kasi mababa masyado yung tres no, sa 9. Dapat ilalim pa. I think with this position, kaya niyang atakin pabalik, pababa yung pamato. Dodong opted to go around the table. Wanted to hit the three. Thinner to knock it out and have a shot. Pero this one has to kick and this is not a bit of, uh, an easy kick shot wow Dodong Diamond was able to hit the trip pero ito bakante open layout for Kyle Amoroto 3 to the corner 4 to the side draw 4 to the uh, 5 to the bottom corner as well as the 6 So Kyle, I think needs to use two or three rails here to get back to the five. Nicely done.
so the seven goes to the same packet as the five. Nice stun shot there from Kyle Amoroto. So last four balls. Now Kyle can opt to go to the right side of the table. That's where he's pointing his cue at. Para dun sa upper left corner pocket na kunin yung 8. As well as the 9. Now he gets good position for the 8. That should be the last hurdle and he's there stop ball or he can go towards the rail and down So just uh, shot towards the rail to go down for the 10. Nicely done. So Kyle Amoroto will take a two rack lead again. 3 to 1 So grabe itong bakpakan nila ng dalawa Open layout Pag wala talagang uh, Balakid Sa layout I think 99% of the time They can run out Meanwhile, on table number 7, Yohan Chua is serious about his quest to get this event again as he is leading 4-0 against Dante or Dondon Rezalani. Anton Raga is currently in the U.S. He will be competing in the Derby City Classic. So Dodong Diamond to break. Nice break there from Dodong Diamond. Open table for DD.
7 to the side, 8 to the corner, going back to the 9 for the corner pocket. Dodong needs to make sure that he has an angle for the 8 to go back up the table for the 9 so that the 9 can be taken into the bottom corner pocket. Nicely done, so you will take this rack courtesy of a break and run. And Dodong Diamond gets his own break and run. And shaves off a point out of that lead by Kyle Amoroto. 2-3 in favor of Kyle. So, magandang bakbakan ang ginagawa ng nilang dalawa ngayon. Talagang fire power to fire power. Break run and break run. Grabe. That's what all the players are aiming. No? Yung break and run. Pag ganun kagaling yung laro mo. Well, hindi ka masisindak ng kalapan mo. Meanwhile, in table number 7, Yohan Chua is really stamping his dominance 6-0 he's on the hill against Don Don Razalan Grabe. he's not giving any chances to Don Don and alam naman natin Yohan Chua is also one of the best 10 ball breakers in the Philippines and if he gets that break going then you can't do anything you just sit watch but you won't enjoy it <laughs> I think that's the only time you can say sit back watch but you're not enjoying and here is Kyle and this will be another break and run for him That's short, but manageable because this kid, Kyle Amoroto, has a tremendous pocketing skill. But he seems higher now because of the five. So let's see what he's gonna do. No problemo. What a great shot there from Kyle Amoroto. No fear, talaga itong si Kyle. Nice controlled shot there for the five. Seven to the side.
Oh oh. What? An unforced error there from Kyle Amoroto. He wanted to go around the 10. He was able to do that but missed the 7. Bukas ulit. Uniform ulit. Ha? Napataka uniform ulit bukas. Right second day ka na? Oo, kasi yung iba hindi pa naka-uniform. But that was also a miss from Dodong Diamond. Oo. Kyle Amoroto will take this rack instead of tying the match. Kyle Amoroto again extends his lead to two, courtesy of that miss from Dodong. Sayis bukas. Ada pengalaman dulu. Lapa. Ada pengalaman macam tu. Ada macam lagi. Binunut moy. Binunut lagi. Ada pembal. Ada break. Apa tak kira? Tidak. Kena tak lagi. Magaling boom break. Ada pembal. Oh, di kau akan tu kita break ni lah. Break pelan. Pulang lah. So, Johan Chua wins by a score of 7-0. Four break and runs in that match from Bubwit. Grabe. So, shout out to all our viewers. Now, Dodong needs to redeem himself doing some miss niya on the seven. And he needs a break and run. Unfortunately. Oh, he has the eight on the side. Oh, does Dodong have a clean shot on the one? I think he has. I don't think he has because his body language says that's it. Now if he has a shot. Okay, so he doesn't have. So he's gonna push out. Knock out the three. Tempting Kyle to take the jump shot. So Kyle is looking at this. Kyle will leave. I mean, Kyle will regret that shot, no? Because Didi was successful in tempting Kyle to take the jump shot. Now, Dodong Diamond has a shot on the one. I think it passes by the two. So, ingatan niya lang na hindi mahook 
yung kamatay niya for the two. He can count on the six, then hold the cue ball. To touch the rail, the side rail, to hold position for the two. Now let's see. Iyan ang gagawin niya. very aggressive. Siguro walang pasok yung uno sa dos. Tapos hindi natin natin masyadong kita because of our camera angle, no? And to where we sit. Oh. Earthquake. And we're having an earthquake. Nice shot there from Kyle Amaroto. Kalaimo, we're having an earthquake while Kyle was shooting the one. Ito, meron pa rin, no? Yeah, we're having an earthquake and still trembling. So even though we're having an earthquake, Kyle shot the one as if the earth is not shaking. Buti nilang mahina. still shaking mahina lang pero meron pa rin guys eh? magalaw pa walang pakialam si Kyle Amoroto he's still shooting Magalaw pa rin guys Magalaw pa rin Pero walang pakialam si Kyle sa earthquake Nice draw shot there from Kyle Amoroto So he's really unfazed He's very focused on his match against Didi That even an earthquake won't derail him from shooting <laughs> walang pakialam last two balls from Kyle Amoroto Darius Dar Dar Oh nga Grabe Binilisan pa lalo ni Kyle para hindi siya mahabong ng earthquake 5-2 <laughs> 2 racks more to go mabuti naman ikaw, kamusta na kayo ni Daryl Ong
Next match on the TV table, Patang KMJS. Ang tirador ng Jensen, JB Sukal versus Alexis Ferrer. Wow, what a break there from Kyle Amoroto. Kaya lang, wala yata ang butas. O meron ba? Kombinasyon? 1-4? We are live here in Robinson's Place, General Santos City. So if you are here in Jensan, Jensan well, pwede kayong pumasyal dito. At makikita nyo yung action live. One ball pala yun, pero hindi binenta yung uno. So ito may pagkakataon para kay Bibi. Hi, and Jose, our good friend and a follower, avid follower ng Sharks. And itong Pinoy Pulmasya na page natin, maraming salamat po. Oh, busy pa tayo ngayon. Daming tournament dito sa Jensen. Halos pagtapos nito, no? Pagkatapos nito on the 22nd, meron na naman agad. 24 to 27 dito pa rin si Jensen 300,000 guaranteed price kaya then sa February naman meron na naman ulit malaki yung sa February guys kasi kalilangan festival ng Jensen yun eh so we're very much thankful Para sa Pacquiao family, especially Senator Manny Pacquiao or should I say former Senator Manny Pacquiao and also mga Pacquiao brothers, Congressman Bobby Pacquiao and Governor Ruel Pacquiao for their undying support sa mga pool players, no? Itong mga tournament na ganito para lang talaga to sa mga pool players para hindi sila matambay lang no? at babakante meron talagang pagkakitaan yeah, maraming salamat former Senator Manny Pacquiao and this tournament by the way is in celebration of his wife's 44th birthday so guys naka post po yung Q-score link click nyo lang yan makita nyo kung naglaro na ba yung mga paborito nyong players kailan yung laro nila at kung natalo na ba sila 
So, pag-click na lang at pakitingnan. So, Dodong Diamond needs to make sure that he gets this rock to get within two. Sakto ba yan? Hmm, sakto lang. Nice shot there from Didi. So Dodong Diamond is on the 10 and this is a straight 10 ball. No problemo. Dodong Diamond takes that rack and is now trailing 3 to 5 against the Philippine 10 ball open champion Kyle Amaroto. So Dodo and Diamond takes a break. So next match on table one is the Batang PMJS Ang Tirador ng Jensen JB Sukal going against one of the rising stars from Tarlac Alexis Ferrer aka Pugtip and abangan nyo yan guys ako dito masusubok ang galing ng batang ito and he's already here I asked him is he ready sabi niya handang handa na raw siya Let's see how he fares against one of the rising stars. In the Philippine pool circuit, Pugtip Alexis Ferrer. And last year, no, during the Naga City Open 10 Ball Tournament, Alexis Ferrer, I think, uh, in the quarterfinals, went toe to toe against Carlo Viado. Hill hill yung laban na yun. Yeah. Yung sagaling lang. Eh, may pinagmamalaki na rin tong si Puktip. Pero alam naman natin, itong patang Jensen, may angas din ito. ay din patalo nito ay din bumitaw so makikita natin siya next dito sa ating TV table 3pm match ilang minuto na lang pagpatapos itong laban na to in less than an hour we will see the batang KMJS kapuso mo Jessica Soho ah, dyan siya na feature no ang Jensen
and Jose. <laughs> Actually, I was born here in General Santos City, but I do not live here anymore. I live in Davao City. I am really hoping that Davao City will have a big tournament as well. Uh, susubukan natin yan this year. That's my one of my dreams. Na makaroon ng malaking tournament dyan sa Davao City. Ang daming mga top caliber players na rin dyan. And uh, Levan Cortez uh, hails from Davao City. A uh, world champion in uh, straight pool. Kaya lang, wala kaming malaking tournament na nangyayari doon. Pasalamat talaga itong Jensen na meron sila ng isang Manny Pacquiao na talagang sumusuporta sa bilyar, no? Alex Ramon Anton Raga is now in the States He is in New York City. So this will be a break and run for Dodon if he clears this rack. Open layout na. I think what he really needs to concentrate on is the 3 to the 4. If he gets good position and this angle for the 3 to the 4 is very ideal. Nicely done there by Dodon Diamond. Nice control shot there from DD. So stop ball na lang to sa 6. 9 is on the side. And all of a sudden, Gordon Diamond gets near the scoreline no, against Kyle Amaroto. Gandang laman talaga pag nag-break and run yung dalawang players. Ayun. So Dodong Diamond has two break and runs as well as Kyle Amoroto. So talagang ano, but now, Kyle is the next to break and definitely Dodong wants Kyle not to get the break and run, no? Otherwise, Kyle will go on the hill. Well, Amaroto to break. Tingnan natin. Wow, what a great break there from Kyle Amaroto. Pocketing the nine on the side with a shot on the one.
open table for Kyle. Kyle needs to draw a little no? from, from the four so that he can take the five towards the corner or will he go forward to take the five on the side so that's what he's looking at because of the angle of the cube to the four I think he's going forward taking the five to the side now remember guys this A plus tables inside pocket ito, the size of the side pockets are small so he needs to be careful here no problem so he's 60 percent of that break and run now if he gets the six three balls remaining he's at 70 percent <laughs> And of course, error. So this is a chance for Dodong Diamond to tie things up, and then next track is the Dodong Dipam of the Brick. So just an unfortunate miss here from Kyle Amaroto. The Golden Diamond last two balls. This is very unfortunate for Kyle. So Didi ties things up with Kyle Moroto because of that miss on the six. Five five.
Wow, what a break there from Dodong Diamond. It would have been better if the tree had fallen, no? Para mas madali na lang, dos lang papasokin niya. Now, he needs to control this. Nice bump there on the five. Okay, the four goes to the corner, five to the side. And I think that ito na lang, itong four na lang ang kailangan na uh, four to the five na lang kailangan ipag pala ng maayos. No? And that answers our question whether Dodon can get a good position for the 5 because the 5 goes to the side, stop ball na lang so the 6 can go to the corner stop ball din ulit sa 6, so stop ball, stop ball na lang to, no? then Dodon can up the 8 for the side pocket Dodong will go on the hill first. Grabe, because of that miss, no, from Kyle Amoroto. Dodong Diamond gets on the hill. Now it's Kyle Amorota's turn. He needs this rack to stay on the match. Next match on our live stream table is Alexis Ferrer versus the Batang Tirador JB Sukal. So malapit na natin sa ulit mapapanood guys. And this is for his first exposure singles event itong Batang KMJS. is aiming to hide the cue ball down table and he was able to 
successfully hide the cue ball in between the 3 and the 10 but Dodong Diamond is one of the best jumpers that we have so kaya nag-alala si Kyle dyan sa ano na yan kalagayan ng uno na yan That's what I said. Modern Diamond is one of our best jumpers. And that says it all. What a great shot. And he has... a good position for the two. Now, if Todong Diamond will be able to hold his nerve and ram his rack, Kyle Amoroto will definitely regret that miss on the 6 ball. That should have taken him to the hill, if not for that miss. And that score should have been 6-4 instead of 5-5. So next on this TV table is JB Sukal. So panoorin you guys and share that he will be uh, here uh, live on our live stream match table number one at 3 p.m. Sir Hi and Jose, yes, si Sukal na ang sunod dito. He'll be here at table 1. Oh, mana? Mana. Tumo na sa. Daw ka gabi? Alas 6. Pili ko gabi. Hindi ka na parang mabigay gali? Duha sila. Kung babi o si... Gob. Ayaw ka ka Gob. Wala po. Abogata po. Ang tigawin sa sikin. Ang tigawin sa sikin. Sa na. Last two balls for the win. Now, Dodong Diamond checks the angle. And there you have it, Lodong Diamond came from behind to win against Kyle Amoroto. Kalahin mo. Namang na si Kyle. He missed that uh, six ball to the corner, giving Lodong Diamond that rack. And Dodong Diamond tied that match, 5 all, then made a break and run. So here's JB Sukal for you guys. 
This is his first exposure in a singles event here at Pinoy Pool Masters. So see you on the next stream at 3 p.m. At mapapanood na natin itong Patang Jensen. Okay guys, so bye for now. See you in about 15 minutes. Babalik tayo.